Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I've got another rock cutting video for you guys. So let's get back into cutting some stuff up that I've just got sitting around that needs to get cut open. What do we find today? Let's take a look. We're starting off with some bird's eye. Here we go. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, it looks like a little stick or something. Yeah, it's probably a stick. Could also be a piece of a shell. One of the two. Another piece of agate that looks very fractured. Fortunately, it didn't fall apart. Ooh. Well, that's actually surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. That is nice. So this is a nice stone that comes from down near, near Eureka. This is kind of like this root beer, kind of an agate. And it's kind of nice stuff. Just cut this. The other side shattered. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. This is a little chunk of that pink wood from Nevada. And okay. Not too bad. Decent. So these are those uh, little agate replaced barrack clusters that come from down by Cisco and Yellow Cat. And we have a few that we haven't cut. And ooh, look at that one. Got the nice red and then some quartz right in the middle. We got another Dugway geode. Um, whoa, that's different. <laughs> okay, it's not particularly pretty. But look, it's like a, a white calcite or clay worked its way in. And look at all these little pieces of the uh, geode. It's like a geode breccia in there. So here's a geode that we'd cut previously. That was really nice. We really liked it. So we decided to cut it again. Let's just admire that side really quick though. Beautiful. Huh. Okay, uh, it disappears quickly. Got a little bit at the top that's nice. And the rhyolite's nice, but... Ah, wish it would have been more of that. Here's a broken geode. Thought we'd just cut and see what it looked like. Nice. Not too bad. Okay, got another broken sort of geode here. And... Hey! Whoa, that's cool. Look at all that agate swirling through it. It's almost like a breccia again inside of it. Okay, got another one. Kind of a squashed geode, and... Ooh, got it solid on this side and nice and open on the other side. That's a good geode right there. All right, here's another piece of wood. Looks nice, doesn't it? Hi. And Tim cut it again, so the cut's cut horribly it. off. <laughs> Tim, you need to learn how to cut straight. I'm a professional. Anyway, pretty nice looking. So here's a nice big one. Tim cut. So it's off again, but oh, look at that. Ooh, look at the bottom. Oh, that's nice. It's beautiful all over. Ooh, that's a good one. Here's some more of that black agate from the van. Not too shabby. That's decent looking stuff. Here's a small piece of the uh, Jasper agate stuff that we found over at the place Tim discovered by Little Moab. And that's pretty nice. You got the jasper on the bottom, this kind of darker agate at top. Uh, gray, black. So here's another pyrite rock. Got a bunch of stuff. Oh, not too bad. You got some pyrite in there and uh, some other things. Mostly pyrite. That's kind of a nice little mix of things. We got another piece of the black agate here. I decided to cut across it like that. Hey, whoa, what is that? Looks like something blue. Huh. Something filled in the space there. Anyway, it's still pretty nice. It's good stuff. So this is some of that Jasper from the area that Tim found over by Little Moab. Interesting. Interesting lines going through it. Huh. Got another geode. And... Okay. Well, definitely less than the other ones we've had today. Still nice, though. All right, and for the last piece today, another piece of petrified wood, and not too bad. Some more of that Nevada wood. Yeah, it's got some nice colors in it, good patterns. And we're done. That was the last one. We had a great day, and there was some nice stuff. Once again, beautiful stuff, mostly geodes and some wood and stuff but some interesting things as well. 
I hope you enjoyed. We have still plenty more to cut, so we'll get to that sometime. But until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.